this is the behind the scenes yeah, of what people somebody. don't talk about about the race. Is that and all we ever talk about is food? We only talk meal about prepping. food. <laughs> they beat me to the punchline. We're meal prepping and basically just always ends up being rice and potatoes. Oh, Nicaragua. Coping <laughs> with popcorn. And rice and bananas, so we could do that. When? <laughs> Jackie, please walk me through all of the peanut butters. There's um four and a half things of peanut butter and we'll probably go through them in the next ten days. Probably Stay eight tuned. Days. What are we doing? Why are we going in the pouring rain? Up the mountain we go. of a mountain. Actually at the top of a mountain. So some mornings start out with a workout of some sort. Um, today was supposed to be our sleep in day and I still woke up and finished my workout before seven, but you can see the reflection of the view over here. It's the same place that we consider the hiding hole. So, workout, off to breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Tell me the process. I am soaking my dirty clothes <laughs> in water, sudsing them up, hand washing. I don't know how clean it actually gets, but here we are. And then I rinse it in that water. Do you have it's a not... bar of soap? Oh yeah, sorry. Here's my bar of soap. Oh, nice. Scrub it all in, scrub it through the clothes. I mean, it looks like you're getting dirt out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's okay. always perspective. Oh, is it? Oh, shoot. <laughs> it feels right. Yep, that's the method. Get the flame from one side. Oh, the other side. The kettle is on. Kettle is on. What she got in there? Potatoes. Oh. Sabana. Hey. Okay. How was your prayer? It was epic, bro. There's yeah. a lot to pray for in the world. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> Chef Jackie. Good morning. The display of dresses. Wait for it. Look no further. She's got the same one on. Where are we going, Shelby? We are walking to a village about 45 minutes away, getting ready to do some door to door evangelism, encouragement, and praying over the people in the Leolea Valley. Yep. How tired are we, Dee? Fatigue level 10 out of 10. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Just <laughs> the game. We're all just a little sore today, oh, though. We got the most important goods, though, in the bag the glucose tablets from our fellow ACE2. Shout out to type 1 diabetes. Yep. <laughs> Amen. How long did it take us? 30 minutes. Ooh, record time. <laughs> Weave! <Yeah. laughs> 
All right, a casual game of Catan and cheers to all our bevies. Yes. <laughs> I'm Jamie, in case you forget me. <laughs> there it is. Waterfall to waterfall. Jesus in Malaleo Valley, Lesotho. Our time here was full, um, to say the least, full of nature, full of God's glory, full of silence, full of processing, full of just a lot of abundance of the Lord. When we first got here, we spent um, one day in the classroom, and then our host unfortunately had COVID, so we isolated for a few days, helped around and gardened throughout the property. And then from there, everyone was COVID free, went back into the schools, did some lessons. I then also, which another video I wanna talk about is processed grief, um, the three year anniversary of the passing of my dad on the field was an interesting, interesting time, but I was able to spend it with a good friend of mine and um, one of the sons of our ministry host, Jamie. And we just spent the day playing guitar and just having fun. Uh, but our time here was just really fruitful. We then went out and did door-to-door -door evangelism, prayed for a lot of people, saw healing of this woman. Literally, she threw her cane and just started running. Like, it was just what? A lot of good things are happening and it's been incredibly humbling to just partner with what the Holy Spirit's already doing here. And I just encourage you to also partner with our ministry hosts here at Africa for Jesus in just praying for this valley. And there's a lot of violence and gangs that are hap that are just turmoil and coming up. And so I just encourage you to pray for them, pray for protection and just safety and peace over this valley. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I am really sad to leave, but off to our debrief in um, Espruit, I think, South Africa. And then from there, we'll spend a week and we'll go to Iswatini, where we are going to partner with one of the AIM bases and work with a lot of, or it's a children's orphanage. So, all the kids. But thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you guys soon. And one final goodbye to the few.
trying to watch a movie. Trailers are too long. The hot cocos and the double popcorn's already gone. Yeah. Already gone. <laughs> already gone. Eating it's crumbs. fine. Eating straight salt. <laughs> <laughs> it's so salty.